Welcome back to Knowledge is Kings, guys. I am Kings, and it is December night. Christmas is right around the corner. In my next few videos, I'm going to be showing you how to make some last-minute Christmas gifts that you can make in less than a day. So today's, we're going to be making something just like this. Now, this one, after having made this, I kind of thought it was just a little bit too big to sit on a table. Uh, anywhere I put it, it just seemed kind of a little bit too large. So we're going to be making something just like this but smaller, and instead of having cactuses, which I can only find these three, uh, we are gonna actually be putting candles in them, and it's gonna be very simple. So I got everything that we're gonna need for this project. I got tea candles with little grass jars. I got some one by four, that we only need 40 inches of. I got some half by four, Ooh, whoop. I got some half by four that we're only gonna need 13 inches of, and then I got some colored gems that we're gonna put around the candles once we're done. So let's get started. We're going to start off with the table saw, ripping this down in half. All right, so we want to set up our table saw at an inch and five eighths. And then we want to raise our blade up. I normally go till the gullets hit the top of the board. And then we'll run that through. All right, so we got those pieces cut on the table saw, and after I pushed the first piece through, I grabbed the leftover piece and sent that through as well. That way I make sure that everything was cut exactly the same width. Okay, so now we're gonna go cut those on the miter saw. We're actually going to be putting a 45 on all the pieces. We're gonna have four pieces at 13 inches from long point to long point, and four pieces at five inches from long point to long point. So we'll cut those now. So first I'm gonna cut a 45 on this one. Then I'm gonna make a mark of 13 inches. And you wanna make sure that your two bevels are perpendicular to each other. Now I'll just cut more of those. Now I'm gonna make a mark at five inches for the next four pieces. Okay, so when I cut these, I wanna have pairs that are exactly the same length. So I put them tip to tip here and just make sure that the top and the bottom are both flush. Now, when I did that to these two, I stand them tip to tip on here, and you can see, you can see that uh, one is a little bit longer than the other one. So what I'm gonna do is cut this one down. Okay, so now that we have all these pieces cut, we have them all checked so that they're all the exact same length in a pair, so it wouldn't matter, let's say, if this one were an eighth of an inch longer than these two were, because we'll just group these two together and we should be fine. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay these, the inside, so these are sitting like this, oops, like this. This is the inside, we're gonna put the inside face down, put the ends together like this, And then we are going to tape these. All right, now this doesn't need a whole lot of glue here. Just a little bit, just enough to get it to stay. And I'm not gonna spread this all around like I normally would because this project is so small this glue joint's never gonna fail. So, and then this last edge here, we'll squeeze it and just tape it together. So we'll just kind of clean up some of this excess glue here. So 
All right, so that's one done. I got one more to glue up, and then while we wait for the glue to set up on these, we'll start working on the bottoms. All right, so the second one's glued up, and I actually used a lot less glue on this one, so I didn't have any squeeze out. So now it's time to get moving on to the bottom. All right, now it's really simple to make the bottom because our finished width here is three and a half. So all we have to do is cut this piece down to length and then we can slip it in here. And now when we put it in, I actually want it to stick out from the bottom a little bit. So when you set it down, it almost looks like this is floating off the surface just a little bit. So we're gonna cut this and mine looks like it's about 11 and 7 16 inch long. So we'll cut that. All right, so I got the bottom cut, and this piece is just gonna, I didn't even have to rip this down or anything. This happens to be three and a half inches wide. And so all I'm gonna do, just doing a test fit first, and that fits nice. And this is how we want it to end up, with it being just up from the bottom, just a little bit. So what I wanna do, is I just wanna put just a little bit of glue all around the edge here. And I'm just keeping the glue kind of to one side so that when I put that side in, it just spreads that glue around because it just fits in there. So I'm gonna set this on its side so it doesn't fall in. Let me clean up some of the excess here. And then I'm just gonna measure to make sure it's the same distance everywhere. And I want it to be about a quarter of an inch. And now that the bottom's in, we'll just let that glue dry and come back to it when it's done. All right, so the glue is set up and I've already gone ahead and taken the tape off. I'm gonna give it a quick sanding, then I'm gonna spray on some stain. And this is actually uh, stain and polyurethane in one step spray on. So I'll just give this one coat and then be ready to put in the candles. So the sanding is done. I put a layer of rosin paper down on my workbench and I'm just gonna put on one coat of this spray on stain. All right, so we let the polyurethane set up for a little bit. Now we can start adding our candles. And I'm just gonna do three per one. Okay, and then we're gonna add some colored rocks. And I actually have two different colors. All right, and that's it. You now have two handmade candle holders, and this project is actually very simple. This is something that you could do with your son or daughter, and they could give it as a gift. So if you want to build something this size, all you have to do is follow the same steps we did here, but this is 16 inches by six inches, and then I used the full three and a half inches of the one by four for the height, so I didn't have to rip it down at all. Um, the only reason this one is so big is because I actually used the pots that the cactus came in. Now you don't have to do that, you could repot them into smaller ones and get them into size like this. Well, that's it for today's project. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be coming back with some more videos on last-minute Christmas projects you can do in less than a day. Oh, I like that!